Hey guys, what's up? It's Sick, and today I want to do a little video on MQ2 FeedMe. So, if you are not familiar with this plugin, this plugin allows you to designate certain food and drink to be consumed automatically once you reach a certain um, hunger or thirst level. Now, the reason why this is important is if you have stat food that you leave in your top leftmost inventory slot. Um, that's the that's the food that EverQuest is going to say this is what I'm going to get stats from So if you get extra hit points or AC or whatever from that um, You don't want to eat that food because it's probably expensive. So what you can do is you can supplement um, Your hunger by eating other stuff and this plugin allows you to automatically eat that other stuff So you can leave your good shit in that uh, top leftmost corner and not consume it. So let's uh, let's take a look at this real quick so we're going to go over to, uh, uh, over on Red Guides, we have the page for MQ2 Feed Me, which says a food handling plugin, which will eat and drink items you specify in order to keep your hunger thirst below a certain level, and thus not eat your stat food. Keep your stat food in the top slot and enjoy permanent benefits while you eat normal, it actually says normal food, I'll fix that, uh, and other slots. So let's, uh, let's clear this out, I'm going to get my little guy here, MQ clear, uh, and we're doing some uh, spookers music since it's like Halloween time soon. All right, so I got my little dude here, and we're gonna do um, slash MQ2 feed me load. Uh, so we got it loaded up here. Now, when you load it, um, it will make uh, an I and I here. It says settings, uh, announce one, food warning, drink warning. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna open up my bags. I'll go back to EverQuest. Gonna open up my bags. Uh, so. We have MQ2 Feed Me loaded, and uh, I have my topmost bag here. Boop, this guy right here. Now, if you notice, I have 2,235 hit points at the moment. If I move the stat food in the top, uh, topmost slot, I get the benefit. I get that extra, however many uh, 200 hit points. Move the food. Um, now I get the benefit from those as well. So now, if you notice, these now are 1919. Um, I bought a 20 stack just before I started this video, and I, f I didn't move them or whatever. So the game consumed them. My character got hungry and thirsty and was like, hey, I got a sandwich. I'm going to eat this shit. I'm going to drink this uh, cool stein of merchant brew. Um, and we don't want that because that stuff is expensive. We want to consume the crap food first and uh, leave the stat food in that top slot so we get the benefit of it, but we don't eat the shit, okay? So uh, we're gonna go back to the browser here, and uh, if you see here, the command. So we have auto drink, um, add, and auto feed add, okay? So I bought some fresh fish, so let's try this out. Auto feed add. Okay, it said found item fresh fish, MQ2 feed me added fresh fish to your auto feed list. And we're gonna do um, auto drink add. Okay, and then auto uh, feed reload. reload. Now it should load from the INI file. Let's see if that INI file got populated correctly. We're gonna go back over to the browser. So it asked me, do I wanna uh, reload the INI because I'm using Notepad++ here. And sure enough, we have food one, fresh fish, and uh, drink one bottle of milk. Um, now, I want it to set at a certain value. Um, so auto feed zero turns it off. Now, this is where some people get mixed up. Normally, you would have auto feed one to turn it on, but that's not how it works in this instance. The auto feed and then the number is the value at which you want to eat and drink. So for auto feed, I, I always do 5,000. 5,000 is a good middle of the road level that, um, you know, it's not, it's not so high that you're gonna try to eat something but you can't consume it because you're gonna burst. You know, the little message you get from EQ that if you're, if you're eating too much food, you're gonna burst. Um, so we, we auto feed 5,000. So we auto feed 5,000. And we are going to auto drink 5,000 as well. So auto feed, uh, 
reload. So if we go back to that INI file, we should see that it's been updated. I'm only showing the I, you don't need to edit the INI file. I'm just showing that this is how it's it's stored in here. See in here, it has uh, has all the stuff. Announce, food warning, drink warning, fresh fish, uh, bottle of milk. And then it'll put your two name and it'll say auto feed, auto drink at. Uh, so this is normally how I have mine set up here uh, for each of my tunes. And then, you know, underneath here, as you get tunes loaded in and added, you just have, you know, tune, uh, you know, tune two, tune three, tune four, whatever, right? Um, and because I'm lazy, I normally just, uh, I normally just copy and paste all this and add all my tunes in that way. I don't have to manually set my, my, uh, my food and drink, but, um, I don't want it to announce when it's eating and drinking. I don't care. I just want it to do the thing in the background. So I have my announce to zero, my food warning, uh, both set to zero. Then for drink, I have warm milk, uh, spice iced tea. Those are both from the uh, summoned marketplace clickies that summon you stuff. Um, so if you use like React or a chat with the same class plugin, you have them added to your summon stuff um, and you're automatically summoning spice tea or warm milk, you're going to consume them. Um, and then water flask and bottle of milk. Fresh cookie, this is, uh, you know, milk and cookie or spice ice steam cookie. This is a marketplace item as well. And fresh fish, roots and turnips. These all stack to a thousand, so they're nice to have in your bag. Like these fresh fish here, they're only a meal. They're not like a hearty meal or a feast or whatever, um, but they stack to a thousand. So I normally just grab a couple of stacks of that. And then anytime I think about it, I, I come and grab them. We don't have to worry about it. Um, but that's it. So now I never have to think about making sure I don't eat my stat food anymore. Unless if EverQuest is or uh, MQ2 is down, so if there was a patch and uh, EQ was down for a little bit, and you are going to uh, be logging in game and sitting and playing, no, it's saying, why can't I play the game? I can't go anywhere. My legs are broken. And there's no navigation. You go to your portal guy. The portal guy doesn't work because you click on him and he's like, hey, buy the stone. You're like, I don't have the fuck stone to buy. I click on the button that says take me to the damn zone that I want to go to. Um, but yeah, so if you're in that kind of circumstance, you probably want to want to just go like this, take this, and kind of move them so you don't consume them. Uh, but other than that, if you're, you have MQ2 loaded up, you're going to just auto-consume this, uh, this bullshit food and then, uh, and then not worry about it. Oh, okay, so actually this happened at some point here. Uh, when I updated it, it's consuming bottle of milk. Because if you remember the settings I had, it had the uh, announced to one. So it's going to say it's consuming it. I don't want to see that. I don't care. I just care that it does the thing that it's supposed to do. I don't want to hear about it. So that's it. Anyway, this is a super duper easy plugin uh, to, to get uh, situated and set up for your dudes. And... Um, if you're playing if you're playing on live modern content where you have stat food this is an absolute no-brainer just to make your life so much easier anyway that's all we got for now i will talk to you soon